Amanda Mullen, your, your industry and energy is in the middle of a pretty big transition. You're going to have new technologies coming online, and you're going to need a new labor force that understands this, right? So when you look out there and you see the changes that are coming down the pipeline, are there enough uh, centers for training or retraining that you see out there that are feeding you the right resumes to prepare your company for the next 5, 10, 15 years? Well, there are um, a, a few ways we're, we're looking at that. I wouldn't say there's a perfect solution. So we do partner with certain schools for emerging technologies in the energy industry and in, in um, battery storage and mm -hmm. in solar, for example. Um, energy efficiency, we, we understand and are, uh, and are watching that and bringing engineers in from schools that have these emerging skills. Um, the technology on the utility side is probably a little slower, um, but we know that it's coming and how we look at our grids and how we do our work and how we respond to emergencies. Um, and so we're, you know, kind of as we're learning what those new um, skill sets required are, we're, we're training to that. But there's no exact answer for yeah. you know, how we're going to fix that problem. We're coming at it multiple ways because we have to. Upskilling our existing employees, bringing in new skills, and working with colleges on the emerging technologies that are going to kind of replace what we currently have, mm -hmm. which kind of are right now you know, so far out that we're not even seeing how we're going to utilize them, but we know they're coming. 